Hi everyone. Today we're going to demonstrate how to fill out the hunting register. The hunting register is the legal document required to record a hunt in South Africa and it is also the start of the application for the export of the client's trophies. To avoid any delays and problems with the export of these trophies down the line, this document needs to be filled out correctly from the outset. It is very important to remember that every hunter who pulls the trigger needs their own register filled out in their name, no matter what their age or relation to the rest of the group. Let's get into it. This is the hunting register. Make sure that you write neatly and legibly in ink. Fill out the date and duration of the hunt at the top of the register. Select the province that the hunt took place in. If the hunt took place in multiple provinces, a separate register must be filled out per province with the relevant species. Fill out the pH, client and outfitter's details in full. Please pay special attention to the client's address and passport details as this will be used when applying for export permits Therefore, it needs to be 100% accurate. Enter the farm and landowner's details where the hunt took place with any additional special permit numbers for animals for which these are required. All species hunted, whether wounded or killed, must be listed with their correct names. The names need to match the scientific name of the animal at the time of export. For example, a zebra. We would need to specify whether it's a Birchall zebra, a Hartman zebra or a Cape Mountain zebra. One of the most important things of getting the hunting register right is filling out the parts of trophy to be exported section. This needs to be clear and match the client's requests for his trophy. List the parts of the trophy that the skinner was told to prepare. This needs to be verified from various departments so the use of correct terminology which is understood by all is paramount. Please do not write dip and pack or see taxidermy register. This is not part of an animal. Here are the trophy parts needed per mount type. Skull bleach, skull, horns or tusks. Shield mount, skull, horns or tusks. This is a back skin. And this is a flat skin. Shoulder mount, skull, horns and cape. War pedestal mount, skull, horns and cape. Pedestal mount, skull, horns and cape. 3D African map mount, skull, horns, full cape. Full mount, skull, horns, full cape. The following trophy parts must be listed on the hunting register. Skin panels, floating bones, shin skin, vertebrae, tail, claws, scrotum, feet, leg bones, feathers, quills. Please note that the quantity of these trophy parts must also be listed on the hunting register. Example, 4 times leg bones, 3 times skin panels, 10 times quills. Rather add too many parts, which can later be excluded. Whatever is released to split an image on the day of collection needs to be on the hunt register. If a client might want something, add it. Remember to ensure that all parties sign where necessary. Signatures must be consistent throughout supporting documents. As this is a legal document, it is extremely important that all the information is correct the first time round. Amendments made at a later stage are difficult as copies are separated when sent to Nature Conservation and Split Image Taxidermy. The first copy of the hunting register goes with the client. The second copy comes directly to Split Image on the day of the collection. The pink copy needs to be sent to Nature Conservation within 21 days of the hunt ending. If this page is not filled out correctly, it could result in unnecessary delays and in some cases, the trophy is being confiscated. If you are unsure of anything, rather double check with our officers or your outfitter. Thanks for watching and we look forward to working with you soon.